Two TV hosts presenting a morning cartoon show. But what are they wearing? Did someone say Bland was back in this season? Because I missed the memo. You know you love me. XOXO, Toaster Girl. What was that? Someone was talking, right? That wasn't just Hello? me. You got no, that too? I heard the thing. Weird. Oh, I have no idea. Anyway, we have on. a massive show on Toaster Dude. TV this morning. Starlight Theatre and up and coming Brizzy Band are going to be yeah. joining us very soon, Evan. And Facebook Watch. It's going to be amazing. Toasters, do not go anywhere. Toasters meet Starlight Theatre, an up-and-coming pop rock Brizzy band that cites U2 and Jimmy Eat World as their influences. And guess what? They're hanging out with Seamus and myself on Toasted TV today. Welcome back to the wickedly awesome Toaster here on a Wednesday morning down here at Australian Wildlife Experience in Dreamworld. Now, boys, put your hands in. We've got the guys from Starlight Theatre. High fives all around. Yay! Okay. Yay! That was kind of confusing. <laughs> that was kind of Mighty Ducks-like. Yes. I liked it. But guys, Starlight Theatre, welcome to Toaster TV. Thanks for having us. No worries. Thanks so much for coming down to hot and sunny Dreamworld. Now, let's talk about you guys. You started off as Falling Short. You're now Starlight Theatre. What spurred the uh, name change? And is there another one on the cards? We were very young when we were doing Falling Short, so we sort of grew up a little bit and we wanted to be less punk, change style at theatre, new vocals, and now it's just magic. magic. Pop Rock Bliss, I've heard, Evan. Yes, Pop Rock Bliss, that's how you guys have been described. Is this accurate, or are you guys a little bit more like, heavy metal, rugged? <laughs> Don't let the hair disguise you because it's full of hairspray, so there's no... <laughs> that Pop Rock Bliss is gold. Fair enough. that all night. Pop Rock you Bliss, can run you know that. Yep. We have talked with some big names. You've got the likes of MXPX, Witchfoot. Now we want to know the nitty gritty stuff. Yep. Who was your favourite? Who was the nicest? Who was the meanest? Oh, the big questions. No, definitely Switchfoot were great guys. Uh, the singer John Foreman, uh, fantastic guy, great character. Uh, the guitarist, not so nice, a little bit mean. Went for the handshake, only be denied. So definitely the meanest. Wow, I, I want to be. I want to see the day where you guys deny handshakes. Do you reckon that's going to happen? Very, very shortly. <laughs> Good to know. No handshakes at the end of this interview, sure. Now, when you guys are touring, four boys constantly in each other's faces, let's get down to the nitty and gritty. Who is the meanest out of you guys? Who's the nicest? Who's the smelliest? Who is, I don't know, the strangest? Who farts the most? Who does flatulence the most? Who wants to take this one? Paul. Oh, wow. Um, I'd point over this way to Seymour being the meanest. Uh, Josh being a dominant panda bear. Yes, definitely. <laughs> Jason probably the smelliest, believe it or not. Yeah. Take it on the chest. All love here, guys. Very nice. Just the straight nice guy. So. You are a straight nice guy playing the drums in Starlight Theatre. Now, I understand you guys are going to do an acoustic version of a song from your new record. Yes, this is off our uh, EP, uh, Castles, Clocks and Cathedrals. This is The Window. I hope you enjoy it. It's a long walk home want you to know that I'm with you when I go. It's cold outside and the wind's so unkind, but through the window, window, it's still mine. Thank you. 